That's why we wanted the fracture. It's completely new armor. That's all earned by the player playing during the event. It's completely new achievable stuff throughout the entire season. None of that should be available in the store. We made that mistake. I'm sorry about that. So what we've done is we pulled back a bunch of new gears so that when Tenrai comes back in January, you're gonna see a lot of changes to the event structure that we have. One, you're gonna see less swaps and XP, and you're gonna see more actual content. Um, content being, you know, uh, shoulders, coatings, um, you know, gear pieces. Um, two, we're gonna replace those pieces that were mistakenly put in uh, the store, uh, as well as the event pass, and we're gonna replace those completely. So they'll only be earnable within the Tenrai event. Well, as you guys can see, it looks like 3 for 3 Industries was not expecting this amount of backlash concerning their Halo Infinite multiplayer. What's going on, guys? Big Mac here. Today's video, we're going to talk about the changes that 3 for 3 is going to implement into the Halo Infinite multiplayer. So as you saw in the video, it says that he's going to be doing better cosmetics. The way they're going to do better ones is simply um, they're going to give more content out, it looks like. More free content and not stuck behind a paywall. As y'all saw in the Samurai Challenge that we had a couple weeks ago, had a couple of the helmets and signature stanches stuck behind a paywall 10 to 20 bucks that was a little insane looks like they're going to correct that mistake and retcan their previous battle pass idea because they didn't expect this amount of backlash from the community a few more things they need to touch on is big team battle when you play it it's an okay time but it has gave a lot of people over in europe and australia bad connections and they're disconnecting i myself have disconnected from this game multiple times I can't tell you how many times I'll be playing a game of Ranked or a game of Team Slayer or whatever, and I get booted out to the launch screen saying multiplayer is unavailable while I'm still connected to the internet. The game itself loses connection to the server or something's happened they need to fix, which I think they will address it soon. A whole other issue within itself is that it's going to be a challenge to get more Ranked playlists due to the fact that they have so many subdivisions. You got your mouse, mouse and keyboard by itself. Controller by itself, solo and duo, crossplay. You got all these different set lists, up to six possibilities for one playlist. So you got to have this six possibilities for a Team Slayer ranked, or a Team SWAT ranked, or a Team Snipers ranked. With all this being said, though, we do appreciate everything the Three for Three Industries has done for us. They finally introduced new game mates for us, such as Team Slayer, Team SWAT, or as they call it, Tactical Slayer on this game, free for all and Team Fiesta. So that's that's a good start. But we need way more than that and a way more intuitive interface for this going forward. As of right now, it's pretty bland and basic. They need to bring back the veto system as well from Halo 3. It was the perfect system. With all this being said, though, I am excited for the future of Halo Infinite and the multiplayer aspect of the game. I just wanted to do a quick little video expressing my opinions on the situation and the matters at hand. And like I said, we're going into 2022 with almost 200 subscribers. Hopefully, before this video gets launched, I will be over 200 subscribers. I will be continue to do better content for y'all. We'll do more unboxings, more gameplays, more gaming shorts, more gaming news. I love doing any topics that revolve around anything that I find interesting. And if I find it interesting, I hope y'all find it interesting. If not, you can always dis dislike the video. But as always, guys, this is Big Mac signing out. Do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the Big Mac Gaming Channel. I hope you all have a good day.